Hi! Mmm, alcoholic hot chocolate that my totally loving, wonderful girlfriend made for me. Totally in the doghouse with her right now. Let's get drunk and try to make ramen burritos. <laughs> Welcome to the second video in our ramen series. Today we're exploring another delicacy in the category of, I'm not really sure this thing should exist, but here it is anyway, because America, the ramen burrito. It originates from a place called Komodo in Los Angeles, and it was only offered for a limited time engagement, so you can't even get it anymore. Well, guess what? I have a kitchen, a crap ton of alcohol, and apparently a gluttony for punishment, because you know what? There isn't even a recipe for this thing online. Let's go. Okay, so the only thing that I have to go on is that these burritos contain Indomie Indonesian ramen, Chinese sweet sausage, green onion, fried egg, and sweet soy sauce. Can we talk about this for a second? I mean, do you know how many different kinds of soy sauce that I have in my pantry that I'm probably never gonna use again? Ugh. Anyway, it doesn't look like that many ingredients, so it shouldn't really be all that tough. Until you put alcohol into the mix, Noodle! Note that these are different than regular Maruchan ramen. These are Indonesian instant noodles, the exact brand they use in their burritos at Komodo. Authenticity! Ta-da! These are the seasoning packets that came with them. They don't look familiar to me at all. They say to add them on later. I guess we'll do that. Whatever, I, I'm drunk. Green onion, I know exactly what to do with this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Sweet pork sausage. I'm assuming you're gonna cut this nice and thin. I mean, really, going off of every picture or video that I've seen of this monstrosity, which really is the only thing that I have to go off of, which is kind of like Tommy Wiseau trying to make a blockbuster movie based on only a plot synopsis. Ha ha ha, what a story, sausage. Now, this congealed, sticky mess that is my ramen that I totally forgot about, apparently needs an undetermined and probably secret blend of spices. Total guesswork here. But let's go, salt, pepper, five spice powder, and garlic powder. That's it, let's cook. Okay, now we're gonna cook this and venture into total guesswork territory because I really have no idea what the hell happens beyond this point. We're gonna put a little vegetable oil in there, or canola oil, or whatever the hell this is. What is canola? Anyway, I don't know. Someone will Google that and tell me in the comments, I'm sure. Is that enough? No, more. It's a very big walk. By the way, this was on medium heat, uh, or medium high heat. I would say like a, maybe like an eight or a nine on a scale of 10. Get this oil nice and warm. These sausages are raw, so let's cook them first. Toss these around a little bit. They cook pretty quickly, I think. All right, now we throw in the noodles, this convoluted congealed bunch, and then just kind of slice through that a little bit. I'm gonna turn this heat down because most of this stuff is already cooked and we don't want it to get too bad. I'm just trying to get these noodles to be kind of like, I don't know, slightly fried or stir fried textures. I, I don't really know how much, how much of this to add, let's be real. Uh, I'm guessing like a teaspoon or two. <laughs> That's a teaspoon, right? Because we're gonna be adding a crap ton of green onion later. Speaking of green onion, we're gonna add as much of the whites as we can here, and we'll add the greens later. Okay, you know what? I know this is supposed to be stir fry, but... <laughs> wow, that did virtually nothing. Maybe this is why they call it stir fry, because stirring actually gets stuff combined, like it's supposed to. Oh, this is hard. I don't know, the spices are kind of mixed. Gonna add about, uh, let's say, two burritos. I'm gonna add two teaspoon, two tablespoon of sweet soy sauce. Wow, this stuff is thick. Maybe not two tea, uh, you know, I'm just gonna eyeball it right there. And then we're gonna stir two combine. And then, wow, that smells really good. Actually, I shouldn't add too much of this because they say in the direction that you should cut these open and then not uh, add them until the end or serve the noodles on top of these. We're just gonna add these now. Oh, there's the oil and what? This is sweet soy, what? Why did I buy this entire freaking bottle? 
Oh! Wait, and they're oily! Aha! Sambal for spicy what's it? And then, uh. Ugh. I can't. There we go. Okay. Stir. Two combine. This is a. This is an. Wow, that smells really good. This is an adventure. We're just gonna add the rest of this and. Oh dear God. I need scissors. Well, I can safely tell you I have no idea how this is going to taste. Okay. All right. That's done. Fry these eggs. Can't be too difficult to mess up, right? That was not a challenge. So it looks like they're using a massive flour tortilla. Now this is the biggest one that we could find in the supermarket. I've warmed it up a little bit in the oven. Ow, hot. Uh, all right, so noodle mixture goes in the middle with a crap ton of green onion and top with two fried eggs. And now we roll. Uh, oh God, all right. Uh, well, I guess we just... Uh, uh, yeah! All right, oh. let's find out how this tastes. But uh, before we do, if you like what we do here in our drunken cooking adventures here at Tipsy Walk, like, share, favorite, subscribe, follow, whatever it is. Ready? Let's go. All right, how do you think this is gonna taste? I, I it smells pretty good. It smells good, but I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Well, you know what? I'm hungry, so let's do it. It's a bit mm. spicy. Really? Like, I don't mean like hot spicy. I mean like you can taste that there's spice to it. Yeah, it's kind of oily, but that's probably, yeah. or, or liquidy, because um, I should have cooked the noodles to about 70% and uh, cook and then stir fry the rest of them. I will say, if you get a bite of sausage and egg it's the and the noodle, the oh, it's so good. It's like, it's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. All in all, this is really good drunk food. Like, oh yeah. If I were like four beers in, <laughs> which I am, I think, what do you think? I think we toasted the uh, the bun. The, the not the bun. Not the, the bun. tortilla. Bun we would have put that like on the fryer for a few seconds and let it grill a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. give a little more crispier flavor. Maybe tip for next time. Okay, but the same question applies as last time. If you were in the streets of LA and you uh, you walked by this place and you saw that they had this, would you walk in and buy it and try it? Um, it was. Not more than maybe eight bucks, sure. Eight bucks? Oh, I don't think they would charge. Well, it is LA. They might charge more than that. Yeah. If it was um, a reasonable price, yes. I mean, I would probably buy it and bite into it and be like, this tastes exactly what I like, like exactly ramen. what I thought it would. It ramen in a burrito. It's not terrible. It's basically ramen on the go. All right, so if there's anything that you want me to make or do in the future, please, please, please leave a comment below. And as always, we will uh, see you next week. Bye. Cheers. Sure. Link me. Thank you. Bye. Card. Gray card. White card. Asian card. Well, looks like I messed them up. It's fine. No. <laughs>